All right, so today we're going to talk about John Waters' 1998 film, Pecker. It stars Edward Furlong as, you guessed it, Pecker, a youngish photographer who gets swept up into fame, and it ends up being a bit of a problem for him. As if New York art collectors weren't stubborn enough, Pecker's family and friends end up thinking he's a jerk. His sister, Tina, played by Martha Plimpton, whom he adores, nearly refuses to talk to him after he gets in trouble with his photos due to his newfound fame. Pecker even clashes with his mother, Joyce, played by Mary K. Place, though it's not as much of a clash as one might expect in a more dramatic movie. Pecker, the film, that is, wasn't exactly a box office smash, it earned $2 million from a $6 million budget. Though, of course, dollars are really just little pieces of paper and don't truly determine what makes or doesn't make a good movie. While, while Pecker isn't a masterpiece and certainly not John Waters' best movie, I don't have many harsh words for it. As is true of most of Waters' movies, the characters here don't develop in normal ways. Others don't develop that much at all. For example, I, I kind of like the New York art dealer, Rory Wheeler, played by Lily Taylor, but it's not like the character ultimately does much. And uh, Pecker's not particularly conservative, yet church-going grandmother, played by Jean Shirtler, doesn't really do much either, aside from uh, show her apparent Virgin Mary ventriloquist act. Like, that's, that's really the main thing. She's almost like a prop character in a way. Um, but, you know, it's, it's kind of a cute little uh, venture into a very vague religious commentary. And even little Chrissy, played by Lauren Halsey, who has plenty of comedic potential, ends up only being mildly entertaining, looking merely like a bratty kid who needs to be grounded for her being overly hyper. It seems like these characters had a little more room for growth in the story, but, you know, the story kind of rushes along, and uh, it's it's a very loose-fitting adventure, I would say. It's not, it's, not, it's not like a grand story, and I don't think it has to be. You know, not every story really has to be an epic in scope. However, those are all just minor gripes. There are some good things about Pecker. For one thing, Pecker isn't exactly a story that sounds familiar because we've heard it a million times before. It's also a bit of a love letter, or maybe even an unofficial advertisement, for the power and love of photography. Pecker reminds us that, yes, lowbrow photography can be every bit of an art as, let's say, picking up a paintbrush or whatever sculptor's choose to pick up, you know, uh, shit, I, I can't think of what sculptors really use, uh, clay, I guess. Anyway, Pecker never struggles to get past his youth and does not have some inflexible self-image. It's not like, it's not like all of his problems stem from some, uh, deep-seated inner turmoil, it's more situational, which is actually kind of refreshing for a movie. Honestly, like, uh, not all drama has to be, you know, like, uh, existential, exactly. I guess there might be a little bit of that in Pecker, but just not, it's not, it's not so heavy. It's not, it never seems insurmountable. He revels in ordinary things, and he's capable of living a, a, a little bit without necessarily venturing out too far. In fact, Pecker is out of his element when the art world takes interest in his work, and when he leaves home, he seems out of place. Again, it's not really like a fantastical story, but it, it's 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 just like things aren't quite right. Pecker is fine where he is for the most part, and uh, that's largely what the movie is about. It's about finding home at home. He's too busy living to be scared of dying, and he doesn't need to try to move up in the world to find success. Ultimately, he finds a way to bring success to himself. Pecker can grow, so to speak. 
And yes, Christina Ricci's character ultimately helps Pecker grow. And why wouldn't she? Uh, lastly, I just want to say the sentence, Two clowns who smell like stinking feet and wet food. Again, that's two clowns who smell like stinking feet and wet food. That sentence has nothing to do with this movie. I just wanted to say it in the video. Again, that sentence is, Two clowns who smell like stinking feet and wet food.